All right. Yeah, so last week we started our Hands on Faith series, and this week we're doing part two or week two of Hands on Faith, and we're actually going to be looking at how our faith plays a role when we experience storms in life. So we're going to look at an example of the disciples experiencing a storm and how Jesus helped them through that and then what that means for us. All right. So does anyone remember our memory verse from last week? It's going to be our memory verse for the whole series because it's the same verse that we're going to look at um, that kind of ties everything together. I forgot. Do you want to hit? Yes, please. It was about faith. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Not much of a hint, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot about faith in the Bible, so I don't know which verse. So to this do. verse is found in Hebrews. Every single. Oh, Hebrews? I've been reading Hebrews, so. Okay. I've been. Very. I just read Hebrews as the last. So what if I give you the first part? We'll see if anybody can finish it. So it says, faith okay. is being sure of what we do not see. Pretty close, you got the end of it. So it's faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. And it's Hebrews 11, verse one, right? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put our memory verse up for today so we can all see it. So Hebrews eleven fifteen. 15. Uh, Hebrews 11, verse one. Oh, Hebrews 11, verse one. Yep. So Let's he over. Hebrews. 11. You're putting it in the chat. One. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So can you guys all see my screen? Um, um, yes, I can see it. Faith awesome. is being sure of what we hope for is being sure what we do not see. Hebrews 11. One. Perfect. So do you want to do girls first or boys first? Girls first. Girls first. All right. So I'm going to count to three. All my girls read it together and then we'll let the boys do it once and then we'll all do it all together. Sound good? Okay. Perfect. So three, two, one, go. Faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. Hebrews 11. Perfect. And now for my boys. Are you guys ready? All right. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Faith is being sure of what we hope for is, is being sure of what we do not see. Proverbs 11.1. 11, 1. 11, Perfect. 1. And are you guys ready to do it all together now? So all of my boys and all of my girls all at once? All yeah. right. Here we go. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Faith is being sure of what we hope for is being sure of what we do not see. All right. So keep that in mind as we go through our lesson today. And then, like I said, we'll keep going back to that. So you guys keep reviewing that. That way, maybe next week when we ask, maybe you guys will know it without looking. Does that sound good? Mm-hmm. Awesome. All right, so Joshua volunteered to help me with the skit for today, which is great. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my raincoat for a skit. And Joshua, you can go ahead and put on your pretend raincoat, okay? So you can pretend you're putting your raincoat on. And then once I get this off, we will go ahead and get started. So Joshua, you can unmute your microphone. All right. Got my raincoat. Should I put my hood up, you think? I think it's raining. All right, we got it. Okay. So Joshua, all good to go. I'm going to share my screen again. There go. And I, once again, am going to be Dr. Hairball. And Joshua, let's see if I can make this work. There we go. That's kind of hard to see. Though. One second. Let's see if I can make it. All right. Are you able to see that pretty well? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be Dr. Hairball, and Joshua, you're going to be Dr. Lipstick, all right? So you're going to read what's in yellow, and I'm going to read what's just in black with no highlighting, okay? Everybody ready? Yes. Awesome. All right, here we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Screwball Science. I am Dr. Hairball, and with me, as always, is my partner, Dr. Lipstick. Yo, go. 
Today, young scientists, my partner and I, are wearing raincoats. Do you know why? Coats are in the laundry. No, well, yes, but that's not the only reason. We are in raincoats because we want to talk about storms. Ooh, I hate storms. Storms are scary. Yes, Dr. Lipstick, they can be scary. When the wind is blowing and the rain is too hard, when there's hail and thunder and lightning and the threat of tornadoes. Stop, Hairball, I'm going to have nightmares. I'm sorry, Doctor. I need a safe place. Dr. Lipstick, you are on to something. When a storm comes, we all seek shelter. The best place to be is indoors. And if things are really scary, down in a basement or an interior room. Do we have a basement at our church? Doctor, control yourself. You're scaring the children. If they're so scared, why are they laughing at me? Because you're acting like a silly pants. Look, storms can be scary. We can all agree on that. But we don't have to be afraid of the storms that come into our life. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Why not? Because we have a God who is more powerful than any storm. Don't you remember what happened when the disciples got caught in a storm? They were tossed out of boat and swallowed by a whale. Wrong story. Oh, I remember Jesus on the floor. He sure did. With one command, Jesus made the wind, the waves, and the rain go away. Jesus is stronger than any storm, real or imagined. And Jesus is bigger than any problem we have. So when a black storm comes into my life, I don't have to be afraid. I need to have Jesus. Precisely. Amazing. Well, Dr. Lipstick, I think our work here is done. What do you say we go check the laundry? No. No? Why? It's Sunday and I don't want to do laundry. <laughs> I'm not doing your laundry. Kids, that's all for Screwball Science today. We'll have another exciting science lesson next week and lab coats. See you then. I don't want to do laundry. <laughs> All right, you guys can go ahead and give Joshua a big round of applause. I'm going to go ahead and stop the screen share and get out of my rainbow so we can do our science experiment. Does that sound good? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me just put this over here. Do you need help line. with the science experiment? I'm, um, I'm going to need you guys to tell me a couple things as we do it. Okay. All right, so I've got a few things here, got a few things here, go ahead to you. All right, so we were talking about storms in our skin, right? Do you guys remember what Bible story the skit referenced? No, if not, it's okay, because we're going to go over it in just a little bit. But it mentioned the disciples being caught in a storm, right? So we're going to see what happens there. But before we jump into that, since we're talking about storms, why don't we go ahead and get this going? So you guys can kind of see what I have here for today. Yep, let me. Got some water. A video so I can oh, see. Oh, the and we've got some colored water. And we have this. This is shaving cream. Right here, all right. So what we're going to do is we are actually going to create a rain cloud. Does that sound exciting? Oh. Ooh, yes. Yeah, have you guys ever created a rain cloud before? No, I've created no. a tornado. Oh. You've I mean, created a, a tornado? Yeah. Um, a volcano. I mean, a tornado, a volcano. All kinds of things, yeah, right? Yeah, a volcano. All right, so we've got our shaving cream. We're going to go ahead and shake it up. And then we're going to put it right inside here. Yeah. That is going to be our cloud. Does that look like a cloud? Cream. Cream. It yeah, does kind of look like whipped cream, right? I wouldn't need it though, it wouldn't taste very good. All right, so we're gonna put our cloud maker over here. And then cream let's see. water. What was that? How can it be a rain maker if there's water inside? If there's water inside, well, the water is gonna help us to see the, when the raindrops go from the cloud down through. So that's what the water's down here for. And it helps our cloud float, right? 
So I don't know how much you guys know about clouds. Do you guys know anything about clouds? Have you learned about them in science? Yeah. Are yeah, Joshua knows something. Clouds are not full. They're actually full of rain. They are full of rain. And do you know what happens when we see the raindrops start to come down out of the cloud? Go ahead, Joshua. Raining. What was that? It begins raining. It begins raining, yeah. So there's actually a bunch of little rain droplets up in the clouds, right? And then when it gets too heavy and there's too much water in the cloud, then it starts to there, release the rain. There are droplets. different types of clouds, like cumulo clouds, cumulonimbus mm -hmm. clouds, stratus clouds, stratus cumulonimbus clouds, um, storm clouds. Yeah, yeah so there's a whole bunch of different types Stratum of clouds, clouds, right? Cumulonimbus clouds are storm clouds. Yeah, so there's all kinds of clouds, and like Joshua was saying, the water's kind of already in there, but when too much water gets in there, then we have rain, because the rain starts to leave the cloud and comes down out where we can see it. So our experiment <laughs> is going to kind of show us that today. So to help us be able to see it, I used some food coloring and made our water different colors so that we can see it. And I'm going to use these little syringes, and we're going to suck some water up here. All right, and I don't know exactly how much it's going to take, so... We'll see what happens. We, I think we can see the green better than the orange. All right, you want me to use the green one? Yeah, green. Green, green, green. Green? All right, we'll go with green. You guys ready? So yeah. we're going to start adding droplets. Can you guys see this okay? Yeah, I can see. All right, so we'll add droplets, and we'll see how long it takes before it starts to come down through. Or rain, like rain. Yep, before it oh, starts rain. to rain. Oh, rain, right? rain, green, green, rain, rain. Go away, come again another day. What do you guys think? Rain, rain, go away, come oh. again another day. It's probably going to take a while. You think so? Yeah. yeah. You... See anything happening? No. no. Not yet. No, I'm staring at like, All right, let's get some more. So the clouds able to hold a good bit of water, right? Because I don't see anything. Pour the if you guys can see the bottom side yellow. of this, there's actually a you little bit of green yellow. showing. Do some yellow. I can That's see a very tiny bit. All right, we can do some yellow. Ready? Well, there'll be like colored rain. But that one's a color. So I don't know if you guys can see it. Every once in a while, there's a little bit that kind of comes down through. Oh. And then it goes back. Mm, when is it gonna rain? Oh, let me get my raincoat on. Pretty cool how much water the cloud can hold, though, right? Oh, I'm gonna see a little bit. I have my raincoat on. I have my raincoat on. You guys can quite see it. a little bit. I can see it. It's the green, you can probably see it better because it's darker. All right, so we'll go back now to green. green. Do another green syringe, green syringe green. of the green. How much water do you think this cloud's going to hold? A lot, much, maybe. I don't know. It's holding a good bit, right? I need my raincoat. I don't know if you guys can see this. Can you see my rain? Can you see the little bit that's forming down here? No. Uh, yeah, I can see it's yellow. Okay, maybe if I hold this There's up, does that yellow. help? I'm going to zoom in a little so I can see it better. Maybe zoom in a little bit. I'm trying to. If I can get it any closer. Let me see. Maybe I can move the camera. Share your screen. One second. See, if I put this here. Yeah, I can see some green a and bit yellow. Of a better view. I can see green and yellow. So let this me... up there. Do you see that? Like right along here, it's starting to come down. Yeah, I see yes. the yellow and the green. All right, let's give a few more shots of the green. You see it coming down a little? Yes. Is that cool? Let's see if we can really make it green. It's going to rain. It's cool. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. You see it? So yeah, our cloud can actually hold a good bit of water before it starts to come down out, right? 
see how it's starting to go down into the water? It looks pretty. Doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. What do you guys think? Is that pretty cool? Yeah. So it's all kind of hovering right underneath the cloud. Yes. Which is kind of cool. It's just like hanging there like I don't want to fall. Right? Yeah. But it looks really pretty. It's like fading. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so you can see we've got our cloud and it held in there for a while. It wasn't going down, it was just kind of like staying inside, but now it's starting to move down through. So I think that's pretty cool. We could keep, do you guys want me to keep adding colored water and see what happens? Yes. Cool. yes. You think we should do more green or more yellow? More yellow. More yellow. Yellow. More yellow. All right, let's do more some green. more yellow and then we'll go back to the green, okay? Do both of them, then it will look really pretty. Okay. Then it will look both at the same time. Yeah, both both at the same time. Well, I don't know if I can hold them both at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. We can see. Um, how it looks. Uh, don, don, don. The cloud is almost starting to like break. Oh, so starting oh. to break. Cool, we keep on adding more green. until it just falls. What if people were in there? <laughs> okay, let's try one other thing real quick. Let's make it loud. Let's see what happens if I do. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. That looks super cool. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. Do some yellow. It's raining. Yeah, do yellow. Do a lot of yellow. Do a lot of yellow. Oh, the yellow is coming too. Keep Look on cool. adding them. Keep on adding. Keep on adding. <laughs> Uh, keep on adding it. Keep more on. yellow? One more time. Yeah, more yellow, more yellow. More. A lot of more yellow. Yeah. Look. Yeah. What do you guys think? I'm coming down. <laughs> Is that pretty cool? Yes, it is very cool. <laughs> Add some more. Yeah, keep on adding until the cloud just falls. Keep adding till the cloud falls. Yeah. I don't know what'll happen. Yeah, let's see. I don't think that yes. would happen. So you don't think so? Cool. You still have a lot of the color water left. We do. The cloud is um, having too much stuff on it, so it's starting to sink, 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 sink. sink. It is. No, Looks pretty cool though, right guys? Kind of the rain is falling like this. Oh, cool. <laughs> All right. What do you guys think? Should I leave that there so you can keep watching it? Yeah, leave it. Leave it? So, cool. so I How long did that take? How long did that take? Um, I don't know. I wasn't keeping track. Were you guys? Yeah. No. Uh, no, I was No. It's probably been like Add two more. Thank God. <laughs> Wait, let me check on the chat. I got a clip on my hair. I was putting stuff a certain time. Okay. Well, while we keep watching this, do you guys want to play a game? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Like, All right. Like it says or something. I want well, to I, need, I need two people for our game. Me. Can me, I do me, one? Me, so, RJ? Me, me, me. And let's see, is Sharon turn up? How about RJ and Sharon? Are you guys ready for your challenge? Yeah. All right, so you guys are both going to have 45 seconds. You're going to go one at a time. And you're going to have 45 seconds to do your best impression of what a storm sounds like. So I want you to think about like a thunderstorm or maybe a storm with hail, whatever you want to think of. Think about a powerful storm. And I want you to make the best storm noises that you can make for 45 seconds. And then afterwards, we're going to vote on who did a better job. Sound good? Yes. All right. Who wants to go first? Me. I don't know who said me. Was that Sharon or RJ? Me. RJ? RJ. Okay. All right. So I'm getting my timer out so we can make sure that we have 45 Sharon, seconds. Sharon, you ready? All right. 
And I guess RJ is going to go first. All right. Are you ready, RJ? Yeah. All right. So three, two, one, go. A thunderstorm sounds like this. I forgot. <laughs> okay. Do you want to just make noise and hope that it sounds like a thunderstorm? Or do you want somebody else to take your spot? I want to sound like a thunderstorm. Okay. Do you want Sharon to go first and then you can go? Yeah. All right. So Sharon, are you ready? Yes. All right. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> That was good. Do you want to keep it going or that's all you got? That's all I got. All right. All right, RJ, are you ready? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one, go. Pow, pow, pow. Ooh, I like that. All right. Anybody else want to give it a shot? Me. I don't know how I need to. Ooh, can I go do ahead. rain? Can I do rain? Um, sure. Let's let the um, twins go first, though, since they both said me first. Okay. So go ahead, Jenna and Alexa. Boom, boom. <laughs> Ow. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Ow. All right. Boom. And then no, Janice wanted to do rain. Uh, I wanted to do rain. All right, go ahead, Janice. Rain. Mm -hmm. Kind of sounds like gum. Ooh, very nice. It's much quieter and gentle, but mm. can you hear it well? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can hear it. It's kind of more like hail, not rain, because hail is harder. Oh, well, that's true. It would make a louder noise. Yeah. Well, I think you guys did an excellent job making storm noises, right? And depending on the type of storm, it would be a little louder or a little bit more quiet, right? So if it was just rain droplets like we have coming down out of our cloud, then it might be a little bit quieter, right? But if it's hail, like Janice said, then it would be louder. And then RJ and Sharon, I think you guys did some really good um it's thunder so noises crazy. right thunder and lightning whoa, 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 so i'm gonna go ahead and move this so that i don't spill it all right i'm gonna put it right over careful with that i <laughs> know right that could be a disaster waiting to happen okay so that's yeah, there all right do you guys know what the science of studying weather is called Meteorologist. Yep, so a meteorologist is the person that studies weather, or meteorology, right, is the science of studying the weather. And we know that weather can kind of change throughout the day, right? It could be um, a nice sunny day, but then all of a sudden we have a storm in the middle of it, right? Or it could start out kind of rainy, but then it clears up and the sun comes. Yes, then at school I learned about weather. Oh, yeah? Well, I learned about weather, and it is the, over a short period of time, but kind of over a long period of time. And there's all sorts of weather clouds. Um, I learned what meteorologists use. I made a wind measuring thing. Very cool. All right, so it sounds like you guys have studied some weather, so maybe you guys are amateur meteorologists then. That's pretty awesome. I've studied weather. You've studied the weather? Very cool. Yeah, so um, the meteorologists that we see on TV, like on the news telling us the weather, they have all types of equipment to kind of help them figure out what's going to happen and to predict the weather, right? They can measure things like um, the pressure in the air, right? So they can use barometers, they can use thermometers, which tell us the temperature. Thermometers. Yep, so all kinds of things, right? They use radar, which is pretty cool. Um, so there's all kinds of things that help the meteorologists to get very hands-on and help them to be able to predict what's going to happen, right? Hands on that. So that's pretty cool. 
We also know that, like we talked about, some storms are a little louder than others, right? Depending on what's going on. Some storms can even be more dangerous than others. Can you guys think of any examples like of dangerous hurricane. storms? Or yeah, like a hurricane, right? A hurricane or, or a tornado, yep. What about in the winter? What kind of storms do we get in the winter that might be kind of dangerous? Blizzards. Blizzards, Snowstorm. yep. Snowstorms. Blizzards. Mm -hmm. Yep, blizzards. Thunderstorms. Thunderstorms we get more in the summer, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, depending on the type of storm, it can be more dangerous than others. So when we think about the storms that are a little bit more dangerous, I heard you guys mention a few of them, right? Like thunderstorms, um, hurricanes, some areas they have to worry about tsunamis. Luckily, we don't really have to worry about that. Um, but I think tornadoes are probably some of the more common ones for our area, right? Yeah, Janice? Uh, tornadoes one. Tornadoes, yeah. So have you guys ever experienced a tornado? Uh, no. I've no? Never. No, but I've a movie about a tornado. Oh, a tornado, right. Um, uh, You've got a movie? I live in Wharton, and there was a very windy tornado. It just blew past our house. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so I, I grew up in southwestern Pennsylvania, and we actually had tornadoes not super frequently, but frequently enough that I can remember a few different times um, that I saw funnel clouds or I was able to watch the tornado kind of pass by on the mountain ridge. So, yeah, so those times can be pretty scary, right? I remember one time when I was little, my parents were afraid because the tornado was supposed to be coming close to our home and they didn't want my brother and I to get hurt. So we all went down into the basement like our skit talked about this morning or today, sorry. And my parents actually stuck my brother and I inside a closet in the basement so that we would be safe if the tornado came. So I remember feeling a little bit afraid when that happened, right? And I think that's normal to be scared when we experience some type of storm. They put you in a closet? Yep, they put me inside the closet in the basement to try to keep us safe. So are you guys ready for one more little experiment? Yes. Yeah. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to work, so if I get water all over the place, bear with me. I'm actually going to put my laptop up here. That way. If I do get water everywhere, hopefully my laptop will be safe. I'm going to see if I can make a tornado inside this bottle. Do you guys think I can do it? I need a baby. All right, let's give it a shot. Let me move my tablet, too, actually. <laughs> Better safe than not, right, guys? All right, you guys ready? Who thinks I can do it? Um, you can. I can't. Who thinks I can't do it? And I'm gonna make a big mess. You I'll hope for that one. I think I'm gonna make a big mess. All right. Probably can do it. <laughs> you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Right, so we're gonna turn it upside down, and we're gonna shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, and then I'm gonna try to take my hand off down here. Ready? You guys see it? Yeah. I see tornado. Is that pretty cool? You had that bowl, or it would have been. I know, I know right? It would have gone everywhere. So you guys saw the tornado inside the bottle, though, right? Can you do it again? So, can I do it again? Yeah. If I go get more water, I can do it again. Do you guys want me to go okay. get more water? Put All right, give me a thumbs up if you want me to go get more water. I don't care. All right, you guys go over your memory verse while I go get more water, okay? Okay, I. Put it All right, you me. you lead the memory verse, okay, Janice? Oh. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> Pull it up from my Bible. Oh. So it's uh, if you go in the chat, you can find it. Get it. I don't know how to read. I don't know how. Hebrews eleven one. So I'll get Hebrews eleven one. Hebrews eleven one. I'm gonna open Hebrews eleven one in my Bible. Okay. Get more water. Get more water. Is, I have a different version, so. All right. Oh, he's back. You guys get to go over your memory I can no, hear you a little bit. No, we couldn't. I have a different version, so it probably wouldn't turn out good. Okay. So, do you guys remember what faith is? No. Faith is, um... What we can't see, it's the thing that we can't see, but we have to believe. Mm -hmm. So, faith is being sure of what we hope we for, it is, being, it is being sure of what we do not see. Yeah. All right, yeah. well, that is your memory verse. So, can you guys do that one, Zach? Yeah, faith 
is being sure of what we do not see is being sure of what we do not see. That is very wrong. <laughs> you were close though. So it's being sure of what we hope for and then being sure of what we do not see. So two things, being well, sure of what we hope for and sure of what we do not see. Being sure of what we hope for. I show my card. You typing it in, Janice? Sure of what we. Janice, your screen's frozen. See. Yeah, I know. I'm on the chat. That's why. All right, perfect. So faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. So Janice put it in there if you guys need to reference that at all. All right, so you guys want to see the tornado in the bottle one more time before we do our battle story? Yes. Yeah. I want to see it. Let's give okay, it a let shot, guys. Let me see it much better. Okay, here we go. All right. Oh, so ready? ready? Yeah, ready? Hey! Do this, and we're going to start to twist it. So get it going. And you guys ready? One, yeah. two, three. There's the tornado. The explosion of the tornado. <laughs> do it again, do it again. Uh, I think two times is enough for today. Maybe another day we'll do it again, okay? Was that pretty cool though? All right, so quick question. You guys all told me that you've never experienced a tornado, but I told you that I have, right? And that I've actually seen the tornado. And do you know that a tornado is actually really, really loud? That if you can see it, the noise from the wind is super loud and it's like swishing. Yeah, it's really off, loud. Right? The wind is so hard. I've been in a tornado before. I've not been in it. And, but uh -huh. it came to my town and I was so scared. And we were trying to watch TV and it wasn't working. And then the news came and that wasn't working. Then my parents yeah. got an alarm on their phone and then <laughs> blah, 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 and then blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so, so it can be kind of a scary time, right? So yeah. tornadoes can definitely be scary. How about this? Um, yeah, picture yourself sitting in a boat in the middle of a lake or the ocean or some kind of body of water, right? and it starts to get really, 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 really windy. So maybe not as windy as a tornado, but super windy, and the waves start to get really high, and you're sitting in the lake in the middle of the boat, well, in the middle of the lake in the boat, more accurately. Um, how do you think you're gonna feel? Um, I would be very scared that I would just swim in the water and run away, go on an <laughs> island, and then- and He's what a great if you were in a boat and a tornado happened? Oh, and That's then a good I question. So, what if it's what if it's a little teeny tiny really. boat? What if it's a little teeny tiny okay. boat and you don't think it's gonna be able to be able to make it through the giant waves? I would be How do you scared. Think you're gonna be? You're gonna be scared, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Definitely gonna be scared. So, are you guys ready to see how the disciples responded when they were in that situation? They were so scared. They were scared, right? Jesus so we're going to read. Jesus, save us. Jesus asked them. Ooh, a very little face. Look, Miss Jen. Man, I think some of you already know the story. What do we got there, Sharon? Ah, uh, your mermaid. Maybe your, maybe your unicorn mermaid creature could come save you if there were waves. What do you think? No. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what happens in our story. I need a few volunteers to read. All right, I've got Sharon. So how about Sharon? Parker, you've got your hand up. So Parker. And let's see. Joshua, you helped me with the skit, so maybe Janet. Let me just pull this up and make sure I have enough parts for everybody. So you're going to share it. One second. All right, so I need a narrator, I need a Jesus, and then I need someone to be the disciple. So I think that's three, right? So we said Parker. Can I be the narrator? I like being the narrator. I want to be the narrator. I want to be the narrator. Oh, boy. All right. Well, Janice, I think you were the narrator last time. So what if we let Sharon be the narrator this time? And then, Parker, do you want to do Jesus? I'll do Jesus. 
Okay. And then who was the third person I called on? Was it Joshua? No, me. Oh, can I be? The oh, that's right. Because Joshua helped with the skit, right? So is it Janice? Can I be the disciples? Yeah. Sure. Right. So you can be the disciples. All right. So my narrator, Sharon, you're going to read what's in yellow. Parker, you're going to read what's in red. And then Janice, you're going to read what's in green. Boy. Okay. So we're going to see what happens when the storm comes and the disciples are out on the lake in their boat. All right. So whenever you guys are ready, you can go ahead and take it away. One day, Jesus said to his disciples, Let's go over to the other side of the lake. So they got into a boat and left. As they sailed, Jesus fell asleep. A storm came down on the lake. It was so bad that the boat was about to sink. They were in great danger. The disciples went and woke up Jesus. They said, Master, Master, we're going to drown. He got up and ordered the wind and the huge waves to stop. The storm quieted down. It was completely calm. Where is your faith? He asked his disciples. They were made and full of fear, they ask one another, Who is this? He who commands even the winds and the waves, and they obey him. All right. Good job, guys. You can give, your, give yourselves a round of applause because you all did wonderful. All right. So what happened in our Bible story? Who can tell me? Um, tell so there was a big... No. So Joshua, Joshua has his hand up, so let's let Joshua answer. Great danger, so they woke up Jesus. And Jesus calmed the storm. And Jesus calmed the storm. Yep. And Jesus asked, did you have your faith? Yeah, so there's a big storm. The disciples are scared, right? They think they're going to drown in the water, and they wake Jesus up. And Jesus says what? Where you have very little faith, or where is your face? Basically, right? So he calms the waves, so he like speaks to the waves, and he's like, peace, be still, right? And the waves just kind of go back to the normal little waves, and the wind stops, and then he looks at the disciples, and in short, yeah, he's kind of like, where is your faith, right? So what do you guys think that means when we experience storms in life? What should we do? Even Joshua. Hey. Bible says, hold on, hold on. Joshua has his hand up. Experiencing storms in life, that means like you're going through hard things and you have to ask Jesus for help. Yeah. So when we go through storms in life, we might not be talking about a thunderstorm, right? Or a tornado. It could be. We could be praying and asking God to keep us safe in those times, right? But it could just be something small, right? So a storm could be something like maybe you got sick and you weren't able to go to a basketball game that you were supposed to be at. Or maybe, um, I don't know, you guys can give me an example, but maybe your friend got sick so you guys couldn't hang out, right? Or maybe you're going through like a bigger storm, like right now with everything going on with the virus and things still being kind of shut down, like we're not able to go to church, right? That's a storm in life, something that's not perfect, not the way we would want it to be, right? It's not a beautiful sunny day, but there's a little bit of rain involved. Um, something that's less than what we would ideally want, right? But during those times, like Joshua said, we can pray and we can talk to Jesus about it. Just like the disciples went to Jesus and asked him for help, we can go to Jesus and ask him for help. Um, so, are any of us experiencing a storm in our lives right now that maybe we can pray about together as a group? Janice? We aren't able to go to church, so we can't see each other. We can't um, go anywhere because of the coronavirus. And in the Bible, it says there's a verse I can't, I don't remember where it's exactly from, but it says, even if you have a little faith as a mustard seed, you can move mountains. And that's very powerful. So that shows how uh, much faith is really important. So. For us to have faith, even though we can't go anywhere, we can't see our friends and stuff, that we will still have faith. Even if it's a little mustard seed, we still, 
we still have to grow our faith, but even if it's that little, that we'll always remember that faith is really important. That's huge. Good job, Janice. That's spot on and perfect, right? We should always be working to grow our faith and to continue to learn more and to trust God more. Um, but even if we just have that little mustard seed, a mustard seed is super, super tiny. You'd barely be able to see it, right? But if we even have just that much faith, then we can do amazing and powerful things because it's God working through us. So we can definitely pray for that. Anybody else have anything they want us to pray for? Any friends or family members that are sick or anything going on? Joshua? For the virus to go away. Mm, amen. So Good. people cannot be sick? Yeah. All right, Sharon. Good. Anybody else? And all the people are losing their jobs. Mm, that's a huge one, too. We definitely pray for that. Some of the people are getting the virus. Okay. RJ, was your hand up? For there to be peace among the nations. I want peace, too. Come on. Right. I want peace, too. Everyone to okay. have faith. <laughs> all right. Okay. Do some good prayer requests, guys. Thank you, RJ. All right, do we have anybody that would be willing to pray for the things that we mentioned? My prayer Anybody willing to pray? Maybe two people should pray for one, um, because there's a lot of prayer points and they're big, so maybe two people should pray. Um, so some one person could have half of them and the other person have Okay. Them. I'm not opposed to that. Do we have two people that want to pray? I'll pray. You'll pray? All right, so Janice, anybody else? Can I pray? Sure. You guys want to split it up? So God heard everything that we mentioned, so you guys don't have to worry about making sure you hit each specific thing, but if you want to just pray um, and ask God to answer the prayers, you know, for the things that we mentioned, and then we'll just see what happens, all right? So if Janice wants to start, and then we'll go from there. Jesus, thank you for this day. We pray that you help the coronavirus to go away and that you'll give each and every one of us faith. Um, the Bible, it says that if each and every one of us has faith as little as a mustard seed, we can see mountains move. Help us to have faith. Um, now we know how important it is. We need to help our faith to grow, but even if we only have that much little faith, help it to help us to believe that faith is strong. Um, we thank you that you helped us to have Sunday class on Zoom. Help us to go back into church soon and that you have the coronavirus to go away. So no one else will get sick and all the people who lost their jobs that you will help them. In Jesus' name we say amen. Amen. And then was there someone else that wanted to pray to you? Was it Sharon? Yeah. Yes. Go ahead, sweetie. Dear God, um, people, Thank you for this day. People are getting sick. We heal them and bless them. Proper care them health and strength. And, and give us faith. And, 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 bless, and bless, us, bless us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right. Good job, girls. All right, so let us do our memory verse one more time, and then we will do our review game. Does that sound good? Yes. On the chat. Right. So here. Being sure of what we hope. We hope that it is being sure of what we do not see. Perfect. Eleven one. I put Perfect. it on the chat as well. <laughs> all right. So do you guys think we can do it all together? Yes. yes. All right, you ready? Three, two, one, go. Faith is being sure of what we hope. It is being sure of what we do not see. Hebrews 11, 1. Perfect. Good job, guys. All right, so let's just end real quick with our review questions, and then I will go ahead and tell you guys bye so you can enjoy the sunshine, okay? All right, so. The 12 men who were Jesus' followers, what were they called? Disciples. Disciples. Oh, the disciples. Good job. Uh, All right. So the disciples got caught in a storm when they were in this. So what were they in when they were caught? A boat. A boat. A boat. Yep. 
The disciples asked this person for help when the storm came. Jesus! Jesus! Jesus wants us to give him these because he is more powerful than they are. So what does he want us to give to him? Um, faith, faith, faith. All right, so he wants us to have faith and he wants us, this is worded kind of funny, um, but what is he more powerful than? Us. Or, us. And more powerful us. than us, more powerful than the Things blanks that we experience in life. Ooh, more powerful than the that we experience. What do you guys think? The, more powerful than the storm. Than the storms. Yeah, he's more powerful than the storms. So he wants us to give the storms to him. That's kind of a figurative thing to say. We're supposed to pray to him. We're supposed to let it go and let him take care of it, right? Perfect. All right. And then last one. Trusting Jesus with our storms is what kind of choice? A good choice. A good, good choice. choice. Yep. Good. How about this? Is it a bad choice or a wise choice? What do you think? Wise. Wise. Yeah, it's a wise choice. Wise. Good. Spot on. So you guys got every single review question right. You believe that? That's amazing. Yeah. That means you guys were listening, which is great. And that means that all the experiments that we did were good, right? Perfect. All right. So what are you guys going to do if you experience a storm this week? I'm going to ask Jesus to help me. Ask Jesus to help you. Good. Hey, I'm going to ask Jesus me from no. that boy. I'm going to hide in my room. You're going to hide in your room <laughs> and pray? <laughs> All right. Yeah, so if you guys experience a storm this I'm week, or you experience, boy. sorry, Elijah just woke up from his nap, so he's saying hi to everyone. Uh, oh, <laughs> so if you guys hi. experience a storm or anything in your life that yes. is less than yeah, ideal, like right, anything that makes you sad, anything that you feel scared because of, remember that you can always just go to Jesus in prayer and ask him to help you, and you can do that because he is more powerful than any storm or anything else yes, that you experience, is. all right? Amen. Amen. Perfect. Well, I really enjoyed being with you guys today. It's been a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoyed the experiments that we did, because I know I did. Um, but in an effort to let you guys go in a timely fashion and let you maybe get outside and play if your parents are okay with that, because it's nice and sunny out, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye and for today, my bike. and I will see you guys next week. Okay? I'll go outside and ride my bike. I'll just say bye-bye. So if you guys want to go ahead and say goodbye to each other, and then I will go ahead and I will end our call. Bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Right. Love you guys. I will see you next week, okay? Love you. Bye. 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 Bye.